Hello. This video is going to show you how to synchronize between Service Psychic and QuickBooks Online. I've already done all the configuration necessary for the synchronization, and that will be covered in a different video. This video is just going to show you how to do the synchronization. Now, what I've done here is I've created a new customer called the Arc Welding Corp, and I've created a new job here with two line items on it one for gadget at $13.99, three of them. Another hourly rate, four of them at $70 an hour, and the total of this invoice comes out to $321.97. All right, so now in order to synchronize it, you first need to mark it as complete. So I'm going to click that here. Actually, what I want to show you first is here. Here's my QuickBooks Online, and I'm going to refresh, and we're just going to go to the Customer Center. And I just want to show you that this Arc Welding Corp is not here. All right. So now we're going to go back. I'm going to mark it as complete now. And now you'll see it says it's completed here and there's this new link over on the right that says sync with QuickBooks Online. So I'm going to click that. And once this refreshes, we're going to go over to QuickBooks Online and see how the customer and the job record has come over. And this just takes a few seconds to do. All right, so now you see a little uh, indication here that's been synchronized and gives you the invoice number, 1085. Okay, good. So if I go here, I'm going to go back to the Customer Center in QuickBooks Online, and I'll scroll up, and there's the Arc Welding Corp. And here's our invoice. And it's got all the data that I entered in on that customer. Now, I also want to show you the synchronization goes both ways, meaning it will go from Service Psychic into QuickBooks Online and from QuickBooks Online back to Service Psychic. So let's say, for example, you forgot a line item. <clears throat> so just going to add, we also installed the XYZ gadgets, and there were two of them. Oops. All right. So now I'm going to save that. And now you see the price went up to 365. And over here it was 321. Okay. So now in order to synchronize back, you go to the more gener general way of doing the synchronization, which is this link up here at the top that says QuickBooks. And you just click this button and this will do a two-way synchronization of everything, your customers, your jobs, etc. Everything that it finds that needs to be synchronized. And this will just take a minute. And the page will refresh. And then we can go back to the job and you'll see how it has the extra line item back from QuickBooks Online. So let's go back to the job now. And there you see already 365.45 and there's the XYZ gadgets the two of them that I entered in on QuickBooks Online alright so that's just the quick easy ways that you can use Service Psychic to synchronize with QuickBooks Online thank you